Hey, did you know that Modern Warfare 2 is out? Do you guys know? Why don't we get a sit rep on the situation in today's game break? Xbox Morgan, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. 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 Very, very stealthy. Thank you. Thank Should you. have clicked the stick and gone for the knife kill. Um, oh. Call of Duty Modern Warfare Deuce. Yes. Uh, people have been waiting for this game well, pretty much since the first since, one hit shelves. Yes, exactly. I think. Uh, they it, had it, a big launch event here in Los Angeles. We definitely went to cover that. Um, Infinity Ward showed up at an ATC. Really? They sure did. Uh, there were hundreds and hundreds of people in line waiting to get their copies of the game. Everyone's super excited about it. See how those people were like, I want were to Were they throwing out, like, MREs to the crowd or <laughs> taking pot shots with uh, rubberized cannons well, or anything? What or they no? actually did was they managed to, like, kind of pass out tickets so people didn't necessarily have to wait. Yeah, right? Oh, that's cool, yeah. That's pretty cool. Yeah, and I heard they only ran over, like, 12 people in line, which is actually pretty good for a launch event. they got free copies of the game. That's so all that matters. Okay. Wait, did, did, did they actually get, did people get free no. copies of the game last night? Oh, I was like, I'll take it. Only if you got run over. You get run I'll over take it. Get from an copy. APC, why not? Yeah, yeah, why not? Yeah. So, is this going to be one of the biggest game releases in history? You think? Like, is this going to outsell the Halos of the world and the Grand Theft Autos? You know, we haven't actually seen any of the numbers yet, but it's going to be huge no matter what. Make up some numbers. Who cares? Make them up. Seventy billion. What? Yeah. You heard it here first, everybody. Record broken. Yeah. Um, yeah. Before we get into the features, I, I do okay. want to talk about the controversial airport scene because um, some footage leaked online several right. weeks ago of this scene where you are playing essentially a terrorist. You're yes. going through airports and you're you're going through a Russian airport yeah. um, and you are. I don't actually want to give too much of the story away, but it's in the very beginning. Um, and you're trying to basically blame this on yeah. the Americans. Well, there, you don't have to give anything away. I think the footage does just that. I, I mean, mean, it is burly, but it is intentionally. It's intentionally distressing. I mean, most of the game is intentionally distressing. Absolutely. They're Absolutely. trying to. I mean, they're trying to get across the fact that like war is hell. Mm -hmm. No soldiers don't like fighting it. They're doing a great service to our country. This is not like easy sitting around talking about Jessica Biel. <laughs> right, right. You as know, the onion would lead you to believe. As the onion would lead you to believe. I mean, so with, with that said, then is the is the controversy warranted, or do people need to let that go? I mean, I know they give you an option to skip the sequence yeah, in the game. Yeah, but, but who's gonna skip it? It's like something Burley's coming up. Yeah. You wanna skip it? Everyone's like, no. Are you sure? Oh hell no. Yeah. Everyone knows. Where's the option to make it more violent? No, exactly. Thank you. I yeah. mean, you're offered that, but it is disturbing. It's meant to be disturbing. It's not for everybody, but there is freedom of speech, and they sure. can do it. I'm, I'm certainly glad they left it in, because I know some people were saying, pull it out. You know, I'm, I'm glad that they, they left it in there. I'm, I'm definitely glad that they left it in there. People can skip it if they're... But I, I worry that a lot of people are going to take it out of context. Right, right. Well, let's start, Let's put it in context. The rest of the single-player uh, experience, Call of Duty and Modern Warfare 2. Yes. Amazing? Uh, it is amazing. There is a huge variety of missions that we've, we're all familiar with, like the snowmobile scenes, right. which are really fun. Um, you know, you get to fight on home turf, which is interesting because they mm -hmm. contrast that against you shooting up other people's homes. Right. So you have to kind of think about the damage you're doing to other people's homes. Like it forces you to think about that. There's a lot of different areas that you're in. It kind of jumps back and forth between storylines. Um, it's not an easy game. So just you know, just warning people. No, I, I think that's very, no, very no. valid to say. Like I know, I, like I suck at all video games, yeah. but even on like a regular difficulty here, I found that if I tried to master chief it the oh, slightest no, 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 bit. No, no, no. You're you're dead. You're gone. You need to get all those dreams of Master Chief out of your yeah. head. You got to rely on your team to check corners, and they will, yeah. and they do a good job of it for now, you. The problem is, I'm an army of one. I shouldn't need any of those other guys. Far, I don't need regenerative how far, help. How far did you get as an army <laughs> of like one? like three steps. <laughs> then my screen was covered with strawberry jam, and I was dead. No, and then they give you the nice quote. You're like, I already saw that quote. Thing. Yeah, exactly. I've gone through every quote within the first level of the game. I got that. So it's tough. Awesome. But if, okay. you know, some people will say the reason to own this game and to play it in any any way, shape, right. or form. The multiplayer. It is, and and by the way, while we're in the single player, I just want to do get in. Oh sure. If you are only interested in playing this game for the single player, mm -hmm. I would rent it honestly, because yeah. the single player campaign is very short. Mm -hmm. And if you spend sixty dollars for your six hours of gameplay, you might be a little, I don't know, pissed off. I think that's that's incredibly valid. I mean, yeah. some people are are watching this this little uh, segment right here, and they right. even have their console hooked up. To the internet, so give it a rent and experience give it. Give it a rent, and it's going to be totally worth your your rental price. Okay, okay. multiplayer. Multiplayer, the I reason know, to own, right? The reason, definitely, the reason to own. This is a game that people are going to be playing for a long time. It has a more frenetic feel mm. than uh, the previous game, and that may be because there's so many perks and so much stuff going on, but it definitely feels a little bit more. Active and fast paced. Right, right. And there's even some co op missions now. There are spec ops, which is there are 32 two player maps. And the fun thing about spec ops is like, say you're on the ground going like doo 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 and you're in a cubicle scene and you're shooting guys. Right. Uh, there's a guy in a helicopter above you, your buddy, taking out the guys running out of the building. Nice. So there's, you know, a lot of different ways to play. It's not just like two guys, kind of one guy checking corners, one guy doing that. So, when do we get, uh, we're out of time, when do we get yeah. X Play's official review? When do we get to see it? You got it right before.
before the show. We got it. We got it. Three years in. What'd you get? Five out of five. Five out of five. five, out of five. All right. If you guys want to see it, you can definitely go to gportv.com/mw2, and you'll go. see everything. That's page for everything. Morgan Webb, everybody, thank you so much, Miss Webb. Thank you. Call of Duty. Modern Warfare Two is out now. Let's go over to Olivia.